capacity building through tourism is a program we've been running since 2007. As part of the University of Brighton School of Sport and Service Management, our students have the opportunity to visit the Gambia every year as part of a training program whereby an average of 20 international students visit the Gambia and work in collaboration with 10 to 15 Gambian participants which are at, um, sponsored through our alumni program. Since 2007, we've been very privileged to collaborate with Sandeli Eco Retreat and Learning Center in providing the opportunity to a number of young learners on how to use tourism as a way to uh, engage with local communities and actually create business uh, opportunities which have then translated into real business uh, entrepreneurial engagement here in the Gambia. Peer-to-peer -peer capacity building initiative includes a number of training activities from seminars to presentations to group activities all aimed at having a peer-to-peer -peer exchange and mutual, mutual cross-cultural understanding of what it means to operate in different economic contexts. The peer-to-peer, -peer, it's been just such a gift to be able to watch this whole thing unfold over a number of years. Uh, it's what started off as what we thought were dreams coming true uh, with, the, with the first uh, group arrival uh, nine years ago. Uh, that has just evolved and evolved as time has gone on. Um, but now it's really uh, getting to the point where it's solid uh, projects that are already underway, being enhanced by uh, the, the opportunity for people to focus and have the, um, the input from the, from the academic side, from the Brighton students, and the Brighton students actually being exposed to the realities on the ground. Total SOS The Gambia is an example of engagement whereby our student built upon engagements of Sandeli Eco Retreat and Learning Centre with communities along the People's Coast, a stretch, a stretch of 27 kilometres whereby communities from five different villages have come together to conserve and preserve the lives of many turtles nesting on the Gambia beach. My name is Maredu. Yeah, I'm from Kato. Yeah. My name is Esidumane. I'm from Kato. My name is Musa Jaite. Um, I am from Kato. You know, before this course last year, I was staying at home doing nothing. I have a lot of experience which I never have had before. Last year, we have been to many places it's like Combo Beach, to Manitenda, where I have never been before. So after this course, we gathered this together. We don't want to separate. We gathered as a group. Last year, we have really achieved a lot. And since then, we decided to stick together to make basis of what we achieved from the University of Brighton. After the course, we didn't want to separate. So we decided that we said we have to be, remain together. What and what can we do to stay together? 
for last year doing our courses with the university students. We went to a combo beach, that's where we saw this juice bar. And I think people, those people, those who are doing this, they got a lot of income from them, from it. This is why we also plan to do this. Her program for English Tourism was the best experience I had in the University of Brighton. It pointed me in the right direction with what I really wanted to do in my future. Not only that, but it gave me great personal and professional development. I also made fantastic friends out in Gambia and experiences that I'll remember for a lifetime. It's a course and an experience I definitely recommend. After the December, she gave me this energy for me and to Paula to be still enthusiastic about what was happening here and we still kept working and uh, we wanted to fundraise the money, we wanted to still be connected to the Gambian experience and I'm really thankful to Marina and to Jerry who gave me an ability to come here and volunteer for a few months which was planned just to come back for two, three months yeah. <laughs> But I actually stayed longer and I totally fell in love with the Gambia. I found amazing friends for my lifetime and I expanded my experience in a, not only in a professional way where it's responsible tourism, community-based tourism, but I also expanded my uh, personal experience. Well, I'm a master's student, so I'm just graduating in February and I came here because of the feedback that I heard from some friends that came here last year and, uh, well, this is uh, an awesome experience and, yeah, I'm loving every, every second of it and I think this will help me to, build, to start building up my CV for I've studied Tourism and International Development, so that will be really helpful in that sense and yeah the most important thing is the experience which is amazing and all the lovely people I've met. I am a master's student studying sport and international development at the University of Brighton and I've come to the Gambia for two weeks and um, to join in for a first week on the peer-to-peer -peer tourism course and on the second week on the football for peace activities and I guess for me the, the best thing about this trick is really um, getting the practical experience beyond the classroom where often we're stuck in books and we're learning the theory and the academic but putting that into practice is something that's been really uh, amazing for me uh, so far this week and I think secondly um, Seeing both the tourism side and the sports side has really taught me how interconnected everything is and learning so much from the local Gambians. I'm really going to take that back into my master's programme. My name is Sajid Java. I came in Sandeli to do the course with Marina students from the University of Brighton. And uh, this course has done a lot in me. My personal appearance towards people, the way to speak, because at the beginning I, I hardly understand what it was saying, and I never do a presentation in front of white people. I was not having the courage to do it, but it helped me to do it. Likewise, the um, the project that we were working on, I never write a project proposal like that, like to set up a client project plan how will it go the aims the objectives like that now like through this work and a day of presentation it was done very nice and i enjoy it very much so i believe together we will rise renew stronger and united because this is our time our chance to get back to the best which we are to lead by example <laughs> with dignity integrity and honor that builds our community and that built Brighton University. So I'm thanking everyone for contributing towards the development and anyone who contributes towards the success of this gathering and this wonderful um, achievement. So I'm thanking everyone. Two.